Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to another amazing video. My name is Shooks. This is Powerhouse of Positivity. If you are joining me for the first time, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notification so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. And uh, work with me on this video because this is a different video from what I normally do. Because today I'm about to rant, guys. I'm about to rant. And uh, before I start to rant, I'll urge you to please watch this video and uh, let me know your thoughts. Watch this video so that you get the context of why I'm ranting today. So, watch the video. The woman do DNA if the man ask her to do DNA paternity test. DNA is not a biblical thing. For me, it's not acceptable. A mother will tell you the owner of a child, and that's it. You are the owner. Why can't you believe and agree you are the owner of the child? Do you want to go into depression? Or do you want to cry? Because, yeah, wherever you are looking for, you will get it. So it's better you do what? You forget ab about it. Okay, welcome back. Have you subscribed? Have you liked the video yet? If not, take this opportunity and uh, like the video. And I'm going to start off by asking the question. Is it okay for a parent to do a paternity test on their kid? Is it okay for a father specifically to take his kid and do a paternity test without the knowledge of the mom? That's the question that we are going to be answering today. And from what the lady you just watched said, that it's a sin, it's never uh there is nowhere in the bible that it was mentioned but then again if we are go if we are going to judge from what she's saying there's no way in the bible it says it's okay to cheat on your husband no bible is against fornication and adultery so if you can have the morale without your conscience go cheat on your husband I think the best thing to do is for the man to also have the courage to do a paternity test without telling you. And you come in to tell me that no, if, uh, if, if a woman says it's your kid, you should take care of it as your kid. No. Raising someone's kid and making that much investment and then 20 years later, 21 years later, some guy you don't know from Adam will just turn up and be like, hey, thank you for raising my kid. I will now take him or I will now take her. How will you as a person, how will you feel about that? So let's not uh, say it's a bad thing or kind of use emotional blackmail and blackmail the guys on doing a paternity test. I think God, as, at this point in time, government should just make it a mandatory that once a child is born, the, the mother of the child must volunteer the kid for a paternity test. It's a must. And the government should also reduce the price of paternity test. Because, yo, if you check the price of paternity test, especially in Nigeria, if you are not well enough, you'll end up raising another man's kid. And the worst thing about this whole paternity test you know, or paternity fraud of a thing is, if, as a wife, you slept with someone else, and you give birth to a baby let's say one kid okay you can it, it's forg it's forgivable your husband might say okay it's a mistake but in a situation where three out of five kids three out of five kids that i have for this man is not his and now you have the impetus to come and tell me no, hey, it's against the law, it's against the Bible, you shouldn't do paternity tests. To hell with you. To hell with you. I'm always saying it, whenever I say it, people say, no, don't say something like that. Me as a person, if I don't have a kid with another person, I don't think it's okay for me as a person to date a single mom. Let's not just put the blame on single moms. But there is this agony of raising a kid, thinking that this is your kid, and then for you to end up knowing that, no, it's not my kid. So there is this agony. 
there are a lot of videos i've seen there's this video i watched of a man or a commentary that i saw of a man that took the whole 32 teeth from his wife reason paternity fraud and the worst thing is when it comes to paternity fraud it's like the ladies in nigeria it falls on deaf ears because there's this study that says that Nigeria has the highest case of paternity fraud. So I'm not surprised that this lady will come out on this era of social media and say what she said, that a man should not do a paternity test on their kid. So if I'm a husband watching this and my wife said, no, you shouldn't do a paternity test, it's against what the Bible says. What do you, how do you think I will feel? What do you think I personally will do? Immediately I'm watching it. The next morning I'm taking my kids to, to the clinic for a paternity test. So guys, I know I said this is a rant video. So rant with me under the comment section. Let me know. Is it a must? Should government make it a must for a father to carry out a paternity test on a kid? He has with his wife and also do you think that what this lady said is true that as a married man that whenever your wife is pregnant you shouldn't investigate or care about who the father of the kid is that you should just raise it since your wife says it's yours let me know down below in the comment section and uh, i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye